and uh, there was a bunch of people uh, seeking other people who are interested in the blockchain technology to apply for free coins. Did sound uh, good to me, yeah? <laughs> and I did apply, I was really one of the latest ones uh, able to apply, and there was over, over 1,500 people who, who, who got a share on this coin that was basically distributed free, yeah? And the interesting part there was, uh, yeah, uh, uh, maybe maybe we watch uh, a little video, then you, you can see what, what made me interested in it first. But besides that, uh, free coins are very interesting. So, it's not working. Okay, should it start like that? This is enough. Yeah. NEM is a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer platform with its own blockchain on which third parties can build new and exciting applications. In this video, we will focus on its application as a currency and how it can benefit you. With NEM, you transact directly from person to person requiring no banks, clearinghouses, or middlemen. This allows for fast and efficient transfers anywhere in the world, 24-7. While keeping your money in a bank, you do not have custodial control of it, meaning at any time the bank can freeze your account, your cards, or both. With men, you do have custodial control, so no one can ever prevent you from transacting with whomever you like, wherever you like. The currency of the NEM platform is called Zen, and all existing Zen were created at launch, so you can rest assured that your hard-earned money will not be devalued through inflation. Nine billion Zen were distributed to approximately 1,500 people. Extensive efforts were made to ensure that these accounts belong to unique individuals, resulting in a fair and wide distribution from the start. Your Zen are stored with state-of-the-art encryption in a digital wallet and transactions can occur faster and simpler than traditional banking. The free NEM software is written in Java, a programming language that has been battle-tested for over 20 years. The software is available on Windows, Mac, and Linux-based systems, and a mobile client is also in development. Unlike Bitcoin, NEM does not need massive amounts of energy to run the peer-to-peer -peer network. A node can run on a microcomputer which requires less than 5 watts to operate. Rather than wasting millions of dollars a year and harming the environment with mining, the NEM network can be maintained using minimal power. The transaction fees you pay are used to reward those who support running the NEM network. You can also support the network by running the NEM software on your home computer. The more you participate in the network, the higher your reward. Imagine earning a higher interest rate on your account every time you use your bank card. Please download and install the free NEM software today. Together, we build a new economy. Okay. Um... Now this it sounds pretty more of the same uh, because uh, most of this stuff uh, you can do already, uh, but there are a few interesting parts. Uh, this video was only about the currency use case. Yeah, that will become much much more. <laughs> uh, but already here there are quite, uh, a few interesting points. Yeah, first it's it's not a Bitcoin clone. It, at that time of a blockchain history that was like every week two new coins appear on the market and all did take the open source Bitcoin software, changed a little bit and released a new coin. Yeah? But it's basically all the same. Yeah? It's based on Bitcoin and adds up a little bit of something. Yeah? This one is really in, a new self-written uh, blockchain. Yeah? Uh, it's it was a very broad base of uh, people involved. I think at some point it was like 70 uh, developers. Uh, but uh, because of the nature that this uh, long-running project, it, it focused to a few core developers over time. 
and now there are like three full time core developers working for it, uh, paid for it. Okay, uh, and good. And they are already working now on on transform this uh, this Java engine uh, towards the C plus plus code base, and they made tests in the uh, laboratory with. Uh, 1500 transactions per second in a uh, private blockchain environment. Okay, so the next interesting part is your inflation. Uh, Bitcoin had a very high inflation at the start, and every few, four years it uses a bit. Uh, and for, for the world, the biggest positive effect is that it doesn't waste the energy. Yeah? And it's not it's not based on, uh, based on this uh, proof of stake. There was after Bitcoin, one of the clones that appeared based on the Bitcoin technology was Beercoin. And Beercoin invented this proof of stake mechanism that replaces proof of work, or let's say they used a, a hybrid uh, both to secure it with each other. But um, this proof of interest that uh, NAM uses is uh, uh, another different story. Yeah? And they are the, the first coin implemented this, and as far as I know, the only one. There are rumors that this uh, proof of stake uh, transition that uh, Ethereum is planning will implement something similar to this. Yeah. So here it is already an active and securing a chain like uh, so you 800,000 blocks at uh, 60 seconds. I think it's one and a half years of So you, you mean that they are using something from uh, from name which is already proven to work uh, and, and use it for Ethereum as well? Uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's a there's a there's a talk, talk about this Vitalik or what is the name? Yeah. Vitalik, yeah. And yeah, uh, it describes this vision of proof of stake and Ethereum. And it's basically yeah. it's it's this. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So it's, it it not only uses uh, your your coin balance, uh, uh, it also uses your activity in the network to secure it. And there is a an eigen trust uh, uh, peer to peer uh, mechanism that was is not developed by them, but uh, other people that can be used to secure any peer to peer communication and and uh, manage trust relationships. <coughs> It's also included as an additional part, so it's, it, it, it doesn't have the, the weakness of uh, poor proof of stake uh, And another another interesting part is uh, that they try to spread it between as many people as possible. Yeah, but it was a pretty time-consuming to do this, and so in the end, it was only 1,500 people. The the goal was 4,000 people, but a lot of these people were not existing, and they really did take care that these are real people and involved in blockchain uh, communities and so on. Yeah. In the end, it was 1500 people, and they paid a symbolic uh, BTC, BTC fee. At the time, it was like 20, 28 dollars or something. And this, this way, you're going to share. Uh, and when you compare this to, to Next, this is not another. Uh, altcoin that was basically the first big altcoin with their own code base. There it was like seven guys. <laughs> and uh, and uh, or if you look at, at Ripple now, there's this uh, they just keep 80% of the coins for themselves and it's a big company and they call it a blockchain. It's, yeah. For, for next, uh, it's proof of stake, right? Uh, yeah, right. Is it, they call it, is it pre mined or is it? Is it it's pre it's, it's that why uh, that it's, it's also zero inflation and it only uh, distributes fees between active nodes and uh, people who do transactions. Okay, so uh, I have another little video that uh, show all the parts that are interesting. Yeah, there's a news. 
second generation of cryptocurrency built on the values of financial freedom, decentralization, and equality of opportunity. It was created from scratch to address many of the problems of existing cryptocurrencies. NEM built a strong community before launch and has a large team of committed and capable developers who are actively engaged with supporters. Fairness is built into NEM from the initial distribution of stakes to the rules governing the network. The Ivan Trust algorithm establishes the reputation and credibility of those helping to secure the network. Blockchain consensus is obtained by a radical new feature called proof of importance. In them, the most important accounts aren't the ones with the largest balances or fastest processors. What matters is how much you participate in the network and who you transact with. The NEM coin is the fuel that will power the NEM system, not just the currency, but a complete platform designed to leverage the incredible advantages offered by blockchain technology. Changing the way we do commerce, trades, and finance forever. NEM. A new economy starts with you. Almost as good as Ethereum in the marketing. Room. <laughs> no, really, I think they were very bad in marketing. <laughs> because uh, who really didn't know about them? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, I think this like that. But the video is maybe not that bad. But have a video is one thing, uh, get into the people is another thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yours is my favorite video. So, um, this. Uh, the, the former slide with text, and this one is, is written by me, the, the, the other slides that are following up that is provided from a, a, a presentation, it's not public now because uh, it was in, pretty, I, I'm, I'm semi-official here because I was in contact with uh, people that are in the process forming the NEM uh, foundation and so they supported me, provided me material and, and Flyers later, I will share some flyers with you, and and uh, basically this presentation. And in the end of my uh, the last slides, I will show some live demo of, of Jeff, who is uh, one highly involved uh, in a core member of He he will uh, show us the, uh, the wallet in action. I would like to say that I kind of introduced what Helmut is presenting here uh, a very. Um, uh, very poorly, actually, because this, this is like uh, you won't see so easily somewhere in any other place. And we're talking about the globe now. This is like uh, kind of a very, very early development stage. So you will see that kind of, uh, you know, it's like there are not that many people are uh, seeing that kind of presentation right now. Right? This presentation. Uh the last video it's uh, closed, so it's not public at all. And this presentation was used, I think, at uh, two two events. They, it's at their moment in the in these moments they are they are in the process to get involved at the big uh, blockchain-based uh, events and presented. They were at uh, last week. They were in Korea presenting it, and they in Malaysia and so on. This this guy's mostly. Uh, uh, in Far East uh, focused, so it's uh, Japan, Malaysia, Chinese, and so on. Yeah. But also a lot of uh, German people involved because Germany or uh, Central Europe is also one early adopter in blockchain technology. Um, okay, um, good. Here are a few interesting parts. That's what was not really visible in the, in the video before, but these are my points, what I think is interesting, and so th this is definitely interesting. Yeah? That uh, in this last presentation, I think, or in the first one, that they mentioned smart contracts. So this was their idea in 2014, yes. But they find out, and, and uh, it got proved true <laughs> that it's maybe not, not clever to, uh, to run smart contracts directly on the blockchain. That's, there are different opinions about this, but I, I pretty much share it. Yeah. Uh, instead, they focused on uh, implementing a NEM, I would call the most advanced form of multi-signature mechanism, 
where it's uh, handled on the blockchain, but we have slides later where, it's, where we will explain it in detail. So the next point is, we also did see that uh, the vision to see the blockchain as a decentralized computer is not a good one. Uh, it's slow and inefficient use of this technology. In their opinion, and I also shared this. It's also some parts that Ethereum might see different. So what I see positive and not is they already out of the box have some add-ons included that uh, Bitcoin or other coins, some have it, some other have this, but in this combination no other kind have it. They have a domain name system like uh, a system like domain name system, that's what it is. That's called namespace, yeah. Basically you can register names in a, in a structure, this also uh, explained in more detail later, but this could act like DNS and you could uh, you can register your own domain, let's call it the, the, the same way. You know you have it and and then the subdomains there are the free to use multiple times, but the, the first namespace is unique here. Yeah. Okay, um, what they have also is an asset-like system called Mosaix. Assets, some blockchain new people, please try it in here. Uh, maybe you don't know what this is. It's like a way to, to not only uh, uh, have one currency uh, on, on the blockchain, but you can also have uh, multiple currencies, alternative currencies, running basically a, a virtual uh, coin, not using your own blockchain, but using another host blockchain and run your coin on top of it. But also you can use these assets for other kind of stuff. Uh, we'll be also explain later in detail. And, good. The one po negative point I found out is there is a no prof professional marketing team, yeah? That's why I have to speak, I'm, <laughs> I'm not really trained in this kind of stuff. Yeah? And this name foundation is, even if it's uh, the blockchain is running one and a half year, but the name foundation is not official formed, the global organization, but instead uh, name Malaysia, is it the country foundation or part of the Nobel Foundation was the first part of official form. But this, this should happen in maybe uh, this year or early next year. And uh, why, why this didn't uh, slow down it, the development is because, as I said, it was started with uh, like 70 developers and uh, over the time, it's not weeks, it's months and long time, there is, was just a hard core of developers uh, and and they, there was a, a company formed in, in Japan called Eugene. We basically hired them and said, hey, make the same for us. Uh, and we, we see a great potential to sell this as a private option solution for banks and so on. Yeah? And uh, in a lot of cases it could go wrong, yeah? because the, the core developers would be sucked up by some company and uh, uh, this, this blockchain would die. But what here happens is something different, yeah? That they say, okay, let's let's have this name project running as public blockchain, global blockchain, and have this uh, Mijin company uh, and uh, let these guys, these free core developers, let them pay them to work 24 or 7 on, on this technology. And this te technology is now called Catapult. It will be the next release. Uh, uh, and this release will power both the NEM and the machine. So basically, it's a lucky situation. We have we have a, a company paying devs that they improve the, the open source uh, global uh, NEM technology. So you said there are three developers? Cool. Yeah. Um, and three, three uh, full-time working developers on on a, a blockchain project is not 
Max Moe. <laughs> like, like, let's uh, say. Yeah, but, uh, and Mijin is, uh, is kind of not available to others. It's really a company specific private blockchain development. It's, it's, it's a product. Yeah. They, they sell okay. it. Okay. It's a private blockchain solution and uh, Based on uh, banks did uh, test it and so on. Okay. And basically they did it is very very verify already, and that's not the new C++, but the old uh, Java-based core. That it's, uh, it's suited for their use cases. Mm -hmm. They said we, we can do everything we want with it, and uh, the performance and speed is okay. Uh, but uh, we have so much investment in the old solutions that uh, we have to wait that the life cycle allow to invest in a new solution. Basically, it's the only reason that banks not already using it. Okay. So now let's compare this work with the off official presentation. Yeah. Okay. 100% new code. I did mention this uh, multi-signature. We will uh, see it soon. Uh, asset creation, nano mosaics, and so on. We will see it soon also. Time spaces too. Then uh, this messaging is it's like I say, hey, it's standard, every blockchain has it, but in fact, uh, uh, Bitcoin doesn't have it. Yeah? <laughs> so, uh, but if you're involved in a lot of Alcorn projects, it's standard messaging, on, on chain message, messages, encrypted, unencrypted, and also in hex format. Uh, then, they, they were, one primary focus of them was to, to uh, make. Uh, API is very easy to to uh, develop uh, applications that interact with the blockchain, and they also use a two-layer platform, uh, which which uh, which is uh, built this way that you have uh, the server part that's basically the node, but everyone can run it, such a server part, and then there's a client part which is connecting connecting to the uh, Server part, and yeah. in, in most cases, uh, if you run a full node, you have the server part on your PC, and you have the client part on your PC, and you're talking with, with yourself, so you you trust nobody else than you. Yeah? But uh, even if you if you use it as a thin client and connect to another node, not your own, uh, there is there's no danger because uh, you don't uh, trans. Transmit uh, the private keys. You just uh, transmit the two results, so they cannot, they can never get your keys and so on. Even if you connect to a bad uh, node, for example, then the worst case, what happens is that you make a transaction that never happened on the real network, because, as we explained already, there is uh, this uh, eigentrust system and so on. A bad node would be not never able to spread this. Uh, false information to the real network. Okay, then we have this, yeah, we talked already about uh, no power waste. And fast block times, uh, uh, also for me, something normal, but people who focused on Bitcoin uh, <laughs> still see uh, 10 minutes as normal. For me, that's not normal. Normal block time is one minute, and then it's running on one minute block. There's also a reason why when you have no such, such issues with uh, too much transactions, uh, we cannot process them in a block and we have to wait another 10 minutes and so That's no issue for them. And uh, yeah, clients for, for all platforms and also the mobile clients now already are released for iOS and Android and the, the, the old um, the old standard wallet is also replaced with a new NAMP wallet. We will see at the end of the uh, presentation a video that shows this total new wallet. It's, it's so new that it's maybe uh, that it's maybe not not perfect in UI aspects and so on. Yeah? But uh, I had a talk today about UI aspects of uh, Bitcoin wallets and. Uh, they are not great also. Okay, and uh, yeah, we did talk, talk about machine also. Now let's go into detail of some of these points. Namespaces. 
uh, it's like a domain name service. You can reduce the namespaces. Uh, if you understand domain names and, and subdomains and so on, then it's basically the same, just in the other direction. <laughs> and uh, the domain name system that we use here now, basically a domain name is the address you're typing in the in your browser, yeah? But, but the, the most important or highest part is all, all of the right side, yeah? Normally, there would be a dot starting, but no browser display it. And there's this kind of top level, top level domain, uh, in case of Austria, it's AT. And then there's the domain name, and then there's some kind of subdomain like www. And their system works just different, yeah? So the top level is the first one. So basically you have maybe a company called Space Miners, and then they have an office on Mars, and there's a department that manage the Mars moon, maybe. But the same just in another direction. Okay. So now let's see what this mosaic is. The mosaic is when you have now your namespace, you can create in your namespace an asset in case of uh, name they are called mosaics. And it can have a, a name and a description and you can have units. It can be just one unit, it can be billions of units, yeah? So it's basically a you can create your own cryptocurrency with this, yeah? Without have to care about nodes or the technology at all. So what can you do with this kind of stuff, yeah? Uh, basically, this is interesting, yeah? Because NAM is not a, uh, the currency name. Uh, the name is the, the blockchain name. And the currency, the, the native currency is SAM. I, I think that's uh, really one of the worst decisions of them <laughs> to use two free letters. Because it's always mixed up. What is not the currency name? What is the name of the blockchain? And so on. People on the biggest exchange for long weeks trading SAM, and if you talk to them about NAM, they what, what is this? They have no idea about NAM. But yeah? so they say, yeah, you're trading all day long SAM, it's the same. Yeah? <laughs> okay, but it's using the same technology as, as all Mosaic is using. Yeah? So basically, if you, you design your own cryptocurrency, it's, it's doing the same. It's also, there is the, the namespace name, in case of alias, is alias. And in case of NAM, it's NAM, the namespace name, and the, the mosaic name is XAM, yeah? So the, the, how they write it is, uh, if there are more subdomains, there's dots between, and if there is a mosaic, then there's, how is this double dot named? Column. Column. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so now let's, now let's see what, uh, what they can do with it, yeah? Alice and Bill. So, and this, this is very interesting. I think there's, there is there's Bill using Ellie money. This is the money that Alice did create. But Bill is 